Good morning again, dear saints. Good to have you with me today. Vicar Dennis here with you. Uh, Today we are on, this is uh, our devotion for September 30th. Our psalm for today is a portion of Psalm 119, verses 161 through 168. And then today we will be reading in Matthew chapter 6, as Jesus continues with his preaching and teaching here, and we're going to be covering, of course, in this chapter, the Lord's Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your just and righteous decrees. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies. I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and testimonies for all my ways are before you. God knows our ways. He lights our path. He he knows our coming and going. He knows when you and I fall and when we stumble and he is there with us, dear saints. He is always with us. These are great words again that we find in that great, the great psalm there. Psalm 119. Well, let us continue here with our uh, New Testament reading. Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 through 15. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, Neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Dear saints, we forgive others because we have been forgiven by Christ. He forgives us. We know that when we confess our sins, God forgives us of our sins. And it's because of that great love, that great that mercy that we have been given, that we that we receive from Christ, then you and I then we, uh, we are able to forgive and love others as Christ has loved us. We forgive one another our trespasses. If you look at the, 
<clears throat> if you look at the um, fifth petition of the Lord's Prayer here today, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. What does this mean? We pray in this petition that our Father in heaven would not look at our sins or deny our prayer because of them. We are neither worthy of the things for which we pray, nor have we deserved them. But we ask that he would give them all to us by grace. For we daily sin much and surely deserve nothing but punishment. So we too will sincerely forgive and gladly do good to those who sin against us. Sometimes, dear saints, we don't even know, we're not even aware of the sins that we commit to our brother or sister. We don't even know what we've done. This is why in our confession, when we, when we can confess that we, we confess of the things we've done and the things that we've left undone, because there's many times you and I are not aware of those, of those things. But we know in all of this that Christ, we are forgiven because of what, because of, because of Christ. And we have a merciful Father who continues, continues to forgive us. We know that when we are faithful and just to uh, confess our sin, uh, when we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, as scripture tells us. We are forgiven, baptized saints of God. So then, as you and I live out our days here, and as we pray that his kingdom would come here, certainly not to us, but everyone around us, then you and I live, and we continue to forgive others. Uh, we continue to forgive them of their sins against us, as he, as Christ, has forgiven you and I. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks today that you do continue to forgive us our sins. You are merciful. That's who you are, O oh Lord, and we thank you. We thank you that you called us by your word. You called us, <clears throat> you called us to faith. We were enlightened. We heard the gospel preached in our ears, and, and it called us to faith, O oh Lord, and we trust in you. We trust in you that you are a merciful God who continues to forgive. So, O oh Lord, we pray that you would strengthen us in our faith daily, that we may continue to forgive others who sin against us, and that your kingdom, O oh Lord, uh, will be preached, your good news will be preached to all nations. In your name we pray, amen. Well, since we, we prayed the Lord's Prayer here today, dear saints, We'll close out today with uh, Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear saints, have a great day knowing that you live in his forgiveness. Forgive others as he has forgiven you. God's peace be with you today.